Well, kids, as promised, it's time for us to read I Wish I Could Be Like Tommy Blake, written by David A. Paulson, illustrated by Ron DeNoyer. So as we can see in the very first picture in I Wish I Could Be Like Tommy Blake, there's our character looking in the mirror, and who does he see but Tommy Blake. That's how badly he wants to be like that kid. So now we start. I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. Tommy Blake is in my grade one class at West Park School. Everybody likes Tommy Blake. Tommy Blake says funny things that makes everybody laugh. Even our teacher, Miss McDonald, likes Tommy Blake. I think she likes him more than me. She lets Tommy Blake hand things out to the other kids in the class. When he gathers the paper for recycling, she thanks him for being a good helper. I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. Tommy Blake has two parents. They all live in the same house. I have two parents too. I live with my mom. My dad lives in another city. Sometimes he sends me presents. Sometimes he comes to see us. He stays for two or three days. Then he goes away again. I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. Tommy Blake is good at sports. When we play soccer at recess, Tommy Blake gets to be the goalie. Nobody ever scores when Tommy Blake is goalie. I got to be goalie once. Everybody scored. Marco scored. Jolene scored. The twins, Lonnie and Linda, scored. Even Jada, who just got back to school from having her tonsils out, she scored too. Tommy Blake scored three times. I never got to be goalie again. I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. Tommy Blake was the star of our school play. He played the part of Justin Mead, who started a farm 120 years ago. The farm was right where our school is now. Tommy Blake wore cool clothes and a cowboy hat. He pretended to talk with a really deep voice like Justin Mead. I was an egg in the play, a duck egg. People couldn't see me because I was inside a shell. And when I hatched, I had to make a really dumb and squeaky quacking noise. I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. Now, when I wrote this book, I had a series of grade one students up in Sesford, Alberta, helping me with the book. They'd read it as I read it and tell me and make suggestions about things they thought I should include, including this part, which came from those grade one students. Tommy Blake can burp the whole alphabet. He drinks a big glass of pop, then he burps the alphabet. Burp A, burp B. Burp, see? I tried it once. I drank a big glass of pop. When I tried to burp the A, I got the hiccups. I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. Tommy Blake is a really good artist. Yesterday in art, he drew a picture of a cowboy on a horse. His picture looked exactly like a cowboy on a horse. I drew a picture of a polar bear eating a fish. My picture looked like a big blob of vanilla ice cream had spilled on my paper. I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. Tommy Blake has this really cool bike. It goes fast. Tommy Blake's bike looks like a jet, a speeding silver jet. When Tommy Blake rides his bike, everybody watches. My bike used to belong to my mom. It doesn't go fast. The back tire keeps going flat. My bike moves like a dinosaur. A very old, very slow dinosaur. When I ride my bike, everybody laughs. I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. Tommy Blake has a German Shepherd. His name is Jumbo. Jumbo can sit and stay and fetch a stick. Tommy Blake's dad says no robber would dare come near their house. Jumbo would scare the robber away. 
I have a dachshund named Carlson. Carlson is fat and likes to sleep in the sun a lot. He doesn't sit or stay or fetch a stick. And he's afraid of the neighbor's cat. If I forget to let Carlson out in the morning, he goes to the bathroom in the house. I have to clean it up. I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. Today, Miss McDonald asked me to sit next to Tommy Blake. She asked me to help him with his reading. Tommy Blake has trouble with reading. I helped Tommy Blake with some words he didn't know. I helped him with some little sentences. Then together, we read a story about a fish that was afraid of water. We laughed a lot. I helped Tommy Blake all morning until recess. When the recess bell rang, Miss McDonald thanked me for being a good helper. She said I was one of the best readers in the class. She asked me if I would help Tommy Blake with his reading again the next day. I said, sure I would. After we put our reading books away for recess, Tommy Blake gave me a picture. It was the one of the cowboy on a horse. He said I could keep it. Then Tommy Blake said something cool. Tommy Blake said he wished he could be like me. And that's the story of I wish I could be like Tommy Blake. And don't forget this, kids. Each and every one of us is special in our own way. We don't have to wish we were anybody else. Hope you enjoyed the story. See you next time.